Right now at 430, Ring revoked. A popular doorbell camera has become a common crime fighting tool to help law enforcement, but now the company is changing its tune. Ring officials say starting next week, public safety agencies like the police can no longer directly request video from users. Officials or officers can still use the app to post safety messages to users. Police officers in North Carolina say help from community members has made a huge difference. We have had several great successes partnering with the community in the past, solving auto breakings up into homicides um, by simply requesting footage from ring cameras, from other cameras on people's residence. We were told that if it's not on video, it didn't happen. You know, there might be a missing piece that the police are looking for that might be on video. I feel safer if, you know, with people knowing that there are people, other people out there that are trying to do the same thing. I'm sure this is controversial about privacy issues, but with crime seems to be on the increase, like I said, we need everything we, you know, to help. Privacy watchdogs previously raised concerns about Ring's relationship with police departments across the country, which seems to have led to this decision. Let's go ahead and bring in Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes here. And Khalif, what do you, why do you think Ring and its owner Amazon did this? Money. Obviously, if folks are believing that you're accessing their, their devices unlawfully and giving it to law enforcement, you'll be less inclined to purchase it. And so then you're saying, if I'm noticing a dip in sales in these devices, okay, maybe we can attribute it to folks believing that we're giving unfettered access. And, it's, and, and part of that piece was, was, was misleading in terms of what the individual was saying. We, he said, we've had great success accessing community members' video, and which I think is what folks want you to do. If you have someone on their block and another person has something happen at their house and their camera's pointing in there, police knock on their door, they give them the video, that's great. That's not what's happening. They're asking Ring for that person's video camera without ever approaching the individual. So if they wholeheartedly, that person that owns the video gives it over, there's nothing wrong. The violation of the Constitution is when you unconstitutionally, without a warrant, request it from Ring, someone else's personal property, and then Ring turns it over to you without ever having a conversation with you, homeowner that owns the video. That's the problem. It's not about not wanting to assist in law enforcement. It's about that you have a constitution and you have to follow those rules. Any access to your property, they got to get a warrant to do that. Yeah. And so if you're saying, you know what, I don't want to help your investigation, and they just go knock on Ring's door and get it, that's a violation. Even if a lot of the, the crimes that are solved are out on public streets that are driving by, like drive-bys we had last year, which we used some Ring video in sure. that case. Will this hurt some police investigations like CMPD and others? I, I don't think so. I mean, most people that have these devices in place, they're going to turn them over. They want to assist. Everyone wants to have a safer community here. There may be some rules about not snitching and other things like that. But I can rest assured, if you got a Ring camera on your street and and someone was just killed down the street, they're getting turned over. I do these types of cases on a regular basis. When they hand over our discovery, they're turning over all of the evidence. Most of the time, there's going to be a ring camera that shows a car driving by that has a, a, a witness in there or a car driving by that has a suspect in there. So those cameras are very helpful. However, getting access to them also has to be lawful. Mm -hmm. If we're going to punish folks for not following the law, we got to actually hold everyone accountable. And requesting a warrant, that's step one. Okay, that's one solution there, it sounds like, but do you see any kind of a, uh, foresee any class action lawsuit out of this? I, I, I don't. The only class action lawsuit would have been if Ring would have continued this process, and that's probably the second reason they stopped that. If folks are recognizing that you're giving unfettered access without their authorization to their private videos, they'll probably say, hey, there's a number of us which makes a class, and all of us can come together and sue them. So risk mitigation and management of not having potential lawsuits was probably number two. But dollars was clearly the reason a loss in revenue from a lack of sales was a point. It's all what it points to is that it comes down to the money. All right. Always. Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Roach, thank you for breaking that down. And as for Khalif, you can catch his insight on a variety of legal topics as our evening news continues. Coming up at 5, the Federal Trade Commission is trying to block a deal that would see Novant Health absorbing two local hospitals. Khalif weighs in on why the feds are stepping in. Queen City News is the only TV station in Charlotte with a full-time lawyer on our news staff.